boys and girls. Today we're going to work with our glued exceptions and we're going to build some words and we're going to mark those words. Now two things before we get started. Sometimes you won't see Mrs. B or all of me because I want to make sure that you see the board and you can see what we're putting up, what I'm putting up. The second thing is that you're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil or your dry erase board. So if you don't have that, pause the video and go get that now. So here's what we're gonna to do today. We've talked about our glued exceptions and we're gonna build some words together with the glued exceptions, okay? Our first glued exception is the word, is the sound eind. Remember when they're glued, I glue my fingers together. So let's build the word wind. Tap it with me. Wind. Here we go. Whoops, where's my W? There it is. Wind. And here's how I mark it. We know that this is one syllable. We call it a closed exception. We put an X through that C because the I is long and it does have an ND blend. The I is long. Does that look like another word that you might know? Of course it is. It can also be read wind. Now this is an example of a homograph. These are two words that are spelled exactly the same, but they sound differently and they mean something differently different. So when I wind up a toy, that would be this one. But when the wind is blowing, that would be this word. And it is not an exception. It is just closed. The I is short. So there's a word that can be read in two different ways. So you would use whatever words are around it or the pictures in the story that you're reading to help you know which one it is. Okay, let's build another one. How about we build the word mild? Tap it with me. M, ild. Okay. M, ild. Is that what you were thinking? Okay, so how do we mark it? It is one syllable. It is a closed exception because the I is long and strong. Let's build another one. How about the word gold? Ready? G, old. G, old. Ready? Let's mark it. It is one syllable. Remember a syllable is a vowel sound. So if I only hear one vowel or if it only has one vowel in the word, it will be one syllable. We know this is a closed exception and I've been forgetting to do something. I hope you caught my mistake. We put a box around glued sounds, don't we? And I missed that part, but I'll try to remember it this time. O is long and it has an LD blend. Okay, next let's build the word host. 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 Let's mark it. It's one syllable. There's just that one vowel and I hear it. So it's a closed exception because it's making a long sound. Don't forget to box it this time, Mrs. B. And it does have an ST blend. Okay, let's build another one. How about the word bolt, like a bolt of lightning? Ready? B, glued your fingers together, Alt. B. Bolt. Let's 
let's mark it. It's one syllable. It's a long O. Box that glued sound. It is a closed exception since it's old. Looks like it should be short, but it's long. And it has an LT blend. All right, one more. Let's use our IBE exception. Let's build the word live. Let's tap it. L IV. L I think I need to move everything up a little bit. IV. Okay, now this is not a closed exception because this looks like a vowel consonant E word. But we know that vowel consonant E words have a long vowel. This one doesn't, it has a short I. So that's what's making it an exception. So we call it a vowel consonant E. And this time I'm gonna put the X in, in the, on the dash because it's a vowel consonant E exception. Still, I'm going to box the glued sound. Okay. That was a surprise. Did it scare you? A little bit. We're just going to move on. We're not going to keep doing it. Worry about it. Things happen. All right. So here, <laughs> changed everything around. I'm going to box my glued sound. The E is silent. I don't hear it. That's why it's still a one syllable word. But this time, the I is short. Okay. Now, hopefully, we can get through the next part without the board falling off. Let's see if we can. The next part is for you to do this on your own. So I'm getting. I'm going to give you a word to build. You're going to tap it, write it on your paper, and then I will put it up here for you to see. Make sure you mark each word when you do it also. So get your paper and pencil. I'll take all of these things down so we can get ready to work. These are all going to be different words than we just practiced. Make sure the board is good and sturdy. All right. Well, I hope you had a good laugh when that fell off of the desk. Um, kind of scared me a little bit, but it's time for you to practice building some words yourself. So your first word to build is the word most. Repeat the word, most. Tap it out, write it, and mark it. Okay, let's check and see if you got it correct. Now, if ever I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video, write what you need to, and then start again. Most, n, oast, most. So I would spell it n, oast, most. Did you remember to mark it? A scoop at one syllable. It's a closed exception because the O is long. An ST blend on the end. Okay, I hope you did that well. 
Your next word is the word bold. Someone who is brave and daring might be described as bold. Or maybe you've seen bold face print in a book that you've looked at or when you're typing on the computer. Bold, it stands out. So the word bold, repeat it. Tap it. Write it and mark it. Okay, the word is bold. Here we go. B, old. B, old. Check and see if you spelled it right. And here's how we mark it. We scoop it one syllable. It's a closed exception because the O is long. Oh, I hope you didn't make this same mistake. I keep forgetting to do this. Glue sounds get boxes around them because they always stay together. Okay, the O is long. It does have an LD blend. Next word. Your next word to build is the word child. It's a little tricky. Child. Repeat it. Tap it. Write it. Mark it. All right, child. Ch child. Ch. Did you hear that digraph? Child. I'm going to scoop it one syllable. Remember the digraph gets one line because even though it's two letters, it makes one sound. So it gets one line. It is a closed exception. I box the glued sound. I didn't forget that time. The I is long and the LD blend shuts the door. All right, your next word to practice is the word kind. I hope you will always be kind. Repeat it, tap it, write it, and mark it. Kind. 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 Check your spelling. I hope you used a K, not a C. All right. I scoop it one syllable. It's a closed exception. A box around the glued sound. These are not pretty boxes, but they they work because the I is long and it has an N D blend. Hey, your next word to build is the word colt. Colt. That's our keyword. Colt. Think about it. You have an option. For that k sound. What is it? Re tap it, write it, mark it. I hope you chose the C k old. K old. Now remember, if you weren't sure, you should try both sounds and see which one your brain tells you looks right. That doesn't look right, does it? Your brain has seen this word. Your brain will tell you which option to use. Okay, so mark it. It's a closed exception. I'm gonna make a prettier box this time. O-L-T is a glued sound. The O is long, 
and the LT blend shuts the door. Now, last but not least, you are going to build our vowel consonant E exception. I'm asking you to build the word give. Give. That's our keyword too, isn't it? Tap it. Build it. Or write it. Mark it. Here it is. Give. G. Iv. G. Iv. Remember, Mr. V doesn't like to be at the end by himself, but the E is silent. The I is short. So this isn't a closed exception. This is a vowel consonant E exception. Put an X through that dash. And don't forget to box your glued sound. Boys and girls, I'm sure you did a great job working with your glued exceptions today. I'll see you again really soon.